Rarely is the human drama of espionage put on such public display. Dr. Sharam Amiri, an Iranian scientist who defected to the U.S. with secrets about his country's nuclear program, wants to go home and face whatever that hardline regime has in store for him. In an interview with Iranian TV, he said he could explain everything about what he called my ordeal over the past 14 months. The U.S. says, it's your life. Mr. Amiri has been in the United States of his own free will. Uh, and he is free to go. That's not how Amiri told it when he first popped up on Iranian TV last April. He claimed he'd been kidnapped by the CIA while on pilgrimage to Mecca and tortured during eight months of captivity. He took that back in a second video, but Amiri is clearly going through a personal crisis. It's hardly the example you want to set if you're trying to lure out uh, Iranian scientists and engineers who are part of Iran's secret nuclear weapons program. Amiri had secrets, but the Iranians had his wife and young son. And any time a defector leaves the country and his family is left behind, I mean, the, the regime has tremendous leverage over him. Amiri is not the first defector to have second thoughts. During the Cold War, Vitaly Yurchenko, a high-ranking KGB officer, defected and told the CIA about two spies inside American intelligence. Three months later, he went back to the USSR. It is extraordinary that he had the uh, guts to go back and uh, face the music. Well, there was no music. Uh, they didn't do anything to him. Amiri's fate depends on whether Iran wants to make him look like a victim of the CIA or a traitor to his country. Katie? David Martin, thanks very much.